From prehistoric times right through to the early 20th century, the earth below Alkborough and the surrounding area has revealed a rich variety of historical treasures which give us an insight into how our ancestors lived. The earliest finds have been dated to the Mesolithic and Neolithic periods, some 10,000 to 2,300 years BC. These include flint axes and arrowheads, used by forest-dwelling ancient tribes to hunt, prepare meat and perform other cutting tasks. At least two Neolithic stone axe heads have been found at Alkborough. One with a polished cutting edge was found on the cricket ground around 1930, and Neolithic flint arrowheads have been found near Kell Well, south of the village. We have lots of evidence that Alkborough was inhabited in the Bronze Age. In 1776, burial mounds typical of Bronze Age rituals had been observed at the end of the road entering the town. Although no longer visible, ring ditches, which are visible on aerial photographs, may well mark their position. In January 1920, the owner of Walcott Hall constructed a new drive. A large beech tree was felled, and underneath the roots were the remains of a hearth with a wild boar's tusk nearby. Pottery with a zigzag pattern was also discovered. Although now lost, it is thought that this was the remains of a distinctive Bronze Age beaker. Other Bronze Age finds include a bronze spearhead and a barbed and tanged flint arrowhead. The Iron Age was a time of colonisation and settlement by the Celts, the Gauls and other immigrants. This tiny copper alloy Celtic coin is the only piece of evidence we have of Iron Age settlement in or around Alkborough. Coins such as these may well have been used for trading by the Coriol Torvi tribe who lived on the south bank of the Humber from around 300 years BC. There are some excellent Roman finds from Alkra Parish. The most spectacular was the discovery of a complete pottery jar at Walcott in 1931. It was found by a farm worker digging out a rabbit burrow and contained a small hoard of eight coins dating from 337 AD. The jar is decorated with grooves, scrolls and circular impressions, but is a second and is likely to have been made locally, perhaps at the Messingham Kilns. Another important discovery was made in 1979 when Roman pottery, including fine quality Samian and colour coated wares, were found to the south of Countess Close. Roman pottery and 4th century coins have also been found in the Walcott area. At least two Roman coins are known to be from the village itself and some Roman stonework has been reused in the construction of the Church of St John. Evidence suggests that there was Roman occupation in the northeastern part of the parish too. Finds from this area include coins, Roman brooches, a finger ring and the head and shoulders from a small Roman figurine. It represents the goddess Minerva wearing a helmet and there could have been a shrine to Minerva in Alkborough, but we may never know for certain. Field walking carried out in the middle of 2003 in connection with the Alkborough Flats project also unearthed a large number of Roman pottery shards and a fragment of a Roman glass bangle, beautifully decorated with strands of coloured glass. The earliest Anglo-Saxon find at Alkborough is a belt plate fragment dating from the 6th century, a time when the Anglo-Saxons were still a pagan people. Later finds include an 8th century gilt pin and Torxian and Stamford Ware pottery from the Walcott area. Part of the tower of the Church of St John the Baptist dates from the late Anglo-Saxon, perhaps the mid-11th century. That structure probably replaced an earlier wooden church and there's a piece of carved stone built into the tower. This may have been from an early cross shaft or memorial stone. Alkborough has yet to reveal any hard archaeological evidence of Viking settlement, although it is well known that the Danish raiders used the Humber to access inland sites. Countess Close is a scheduled monument that is thought to have been built in medieval times, but as yet, the exact date of construction remains a mystery. A defensive rampart, which probably enclosed a manor house, it is thought to have been named after Lucy, the wife of Ivo Tabois, who was a nephew of William the Conqueror. 
The manor was the subject of a dispute between Spalding Priory and Peterborough Abbey, who both claimed ownership. When this dispute was resolved in 1147, a chapel was built, possibly near to or inside Countess Close. Excavations in 1879 uncovered masonry and medieval pottery, and more evidence of medieval occupation turned up when the interior of the monument was bulldozed in 1965. Perhaps the excavations of Countess Close as part of the Alkborough Flats project will yield more answers to the mysteries of this intriguing site and establish once and for all the date of its construction. Another of Alkborough's significant archaeological landmarks is Julian's Bower. Also a scheduled monument, it is that most rare of surviving constructions from the medieval period, a turf maze. Some historians speculate that these mazes were cut by monks who trod them as a penance or as a representation of a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. However, the most likely explanation for their existence is that they were simply a focal point for outdoor games of the time. Games were still played around the maze on May Day in the 19th century, perhaps a survival of a very old tradition. For all the news and developments from the latest field walking sessions at Altborough, visit our website.